huge army. He's got three corruptors. Maybe sneaking these in here. And he does drop a few roaches down up here. And he sends Marl has to send his entire army just to get rid of a few roaches. And but he did look like he got a couple more supply depots killed. But it looks like at this point Marl's doing pretty good on supply. He's built enough supply depots. And he's got a lot of his overlords just sitting up here, but nothing Marl can do to really stop him. I mean they're not gonna do anything, but He's not really afraid of a uh, Nidus Canal drop or anything like that. So he feels maybe this is the time to take the high yield minerals. But to know when you're playing against the person that got the high yield minerals about 10 minutes ago, there's no point to commit your troops to come and get this. It's almost farmed out anyways. There's just, you're not winning a battle by taking out a farmed out expansion. So I really, really would have liked to take him right down the middle by the Zelnaga Watchtower. But I just look at this army by Haypro. He's got corruptors up now, just going to decimate those siege tanks as they can shoot from so far away. He can keep them right here, and the Marines will have nothing to do to stop them. And so he, at this point, this is do or die for Morrow. If Morrow can win this battle, he can still win the game. It's going to be difficult, yes, but he's got also another expansion here. So Morrow's trying to keep up as a Terran perspective. You don't need as many expansions as a Zerg does, but you still need a lot. So he's still two expansions down though. Even with that high yield mineral being destroyed, uh, Haypro came down here and took even this one. I mean, he's got 58 drones. So it looks like we're going to see the final battle here. So this will determine the winner of the match, basically. And look at these Broodlords doing their damage, splitting up that army. And this is this is the, the story right here. Let me just turn this off. There's no reason to see that anymore. And look at that damage. That is something that you're going to witness only a few times by just a massive, massive Zerg army. There's not even a word bigger than massive that I can think of at this point. And that's it. Morrow calls good game because that would just run you over so quick. So thanks again for watching, folks, and stay tuned for some more Gosu Cup replays.